conclusion i'll start with for the shaiju a new academic year 2018 what are the three things that you want the government to do the first thing is have a proper planning and incorporate the experts from the private sector also self financing sector also in their plan that is the first thing i would say with regard to nursing education right or any education whether uh, medical or engineering the second thing is they need to trust the uh, self financing college management the trust is lacking somewhere so see we have given our life for this for the next generation to form the next generation now they should trust us we are not enemies and we want to help the people people of kerala and we want to bring kerala up in every way possible so that trust is the second thing and the third thing is third thing i would say is uh, of course with regard to have more uh, hand holding with the industry and the government should facilitate that so these are the three things which i would say so see the new academic year is coming by in another 6 months time mm. as far as medical is concerned we don't have much concern except for one thing because the the platform is set by the need case need judgment the fee structure but the sir the high court has given the committee clear cut instructions to have the fees finalized by first the 31st january if they don't do it we have sufficient time for a judicial or a legal remedy so next i we hope we will have a better admission during the next academic year doctor so, in engineering education most important thing is the planning in a time frame we can say like that is very important we have to complete our admission before july 31st start the classes on august 1st there are so many issues that should be dropped this year itself for that the management the dialogue between the management and the government is essential should start early yes at the earliest you have to start it second thing is there are certain issue with our uh, our university system because university is actually the controlling body of all engineering colleges now that system there are so many problem last year we have seen so many issues that should be sorted out third one is all engineering colleges you have to focus on quality education that is lacking in our many of the colleges all our engineering colleges are having more than 70 years age and uh, now they have all facilities faculty everything is there but we have to focus on quality education to bring the student bright students uh, and uh, have a good career path in the campus all right uh, let's conclude uh, with uh, saying that as the new academic year uh, comes to uh, opens up in the next 6 months management federation representatives are hoping that unlike the last years when you have seen a lot of uh, controversies during the admission process which invariably results in a lot of students moving to neighboring states they want the trust deficit uh, to be addressed on an urgent basis and the admission process to be completed on a time bound manner uh, so that uh, maximum number of local students can get admissions into the uh, institutions operating out of kerala both these are uh, genuine asks and uh, during the course of the conversation what we see is a lot of anguish and pain for managements that have sunk crores of rupees into improving uh, professional education in kerala uh, for our students and uh, let's hope that at least in 2018 we have uh, some of these uh, pain points addressed as well as the university related issues ironed out so we have a seamless academic career uh, academic tenure to look forward to thank you dr shashkumar uh, around father shaiju and mr ignatius for making it to this round table 
uh, we hope to take the uh, sentiment that has evolved from this panel to the concerned authorities through our pages as well as through our YouTube videos. Thank you all once again. Thank you for uh, giving us a platform to express our views on self-financing education issues uh, faced by self-financing sector. Thank you. Thank you.